Hello everyone, I am going to tell you about Teodoro Núñez Urreta, who was one of the most prominent soft-touch painters, watercolorists and muralists in Peru, and without a doubt, the most prolific muralists. In addition to that, he was a writer on journalists. This Peruvian painter was born in Arequipa in April 1912 and died in Lima in 1988. As a child, he loved going to the fields to paint, so his teacher included him when he saw his extraordinary portrait and landscape. In his adolescence, he practiced watercolor on the field with his older brother and studied Goya, Rembrandt, and Velázquez. His study school began since to his father, who worked in an old Arequipa library and had books on European art. After high school, he studied to graduate in a PhD in philosophy and letters, with a thesis on the grotesco and comedy of art. He graduated today as a doctor of philosophy and letters, 1935, was a professor of history of art at the University of San Agustin in Arequipa. He began an, as a caricaturist and later considered one of the best watercolorists Peru has ever had. In 1943, he traveled to the USA. He received a scholarship in 1945 from the Guggenheim Foundation, where he stayed for two years studying the new pictorial trends of that time that were published in his book Academies and Modern Art. Being his soft up training, he became director of the National School of Fine Arts in Lima. In consequence, if he hadn't won a scholarship, to travel and study in the USA, it's possible that he wouldn't have developed his style further. For this reason, he is recognized as one of the best exponents of art in Peru. A simple, multiple man with a revolutionary spirit, he defined himself in an interview as follows. I am truly a Peruvian painter of the Peruvian seeking, the universal and permanent through the characteristic and the perchable. I'm full of love, violence, indignation, and hope for the country in which I live. The inexhaustible sensitivity and dissatisfaction that carried the race is reflected in his extensive artistic and literary production. In it, the combination of raw talent, sensitivity, and rebellion. Teodoro Núñez always cared about technique tending out the symbol in his murals that represented the different patriotic, revolutionary, and poetic moments that he lived during the last century. In his murals and paintings, Brown and yellow predominate as a reference to the mats from which men are originally formed and discrete shades of blue, white, and green. The mural denominated Arequipa, the White Rice City, is what it is to impress. You too will stand a track in the Plaza de Armas, the most grand house in Peru. Towering over the plaza is the city cathedral built from a type of white volcanic rock coming through right the city center. In addition to his work as an easel, he created the Arequipa Antagna mural in Lima, the painting the layers of people and their landscape, their history and their heroes. For him, the human being has always been the impulse, the environment, and the end of, of our universal art. In Lima, he was 
awarded a civic medal of the city. Recently, the editorial fund of the Congress of the Republic of Peru published a collection of his literary work. His name, Le Ant Arequipa, declared Teodoro Núñez Sureta as favorite child, giving him the gold medal of his city. He has published Siqueiros and Peruvia contemporary painting. He wrote La Guaitacha, a uh, story he translated into Russian, English, um, Bulgarian, as well as the life of the people. If would uh, be good for Peruvian to know that this painter was a great representative of Peruvian art. It would be great for the public to know where his works are exhibited in the world. That's all. Thanks.